Hi, I'm Maggie Harding, and today I'm sharing with you a mini album that I made using our Raining Cats and Dogs collection and Clear Snaps Colorbox Graphic 45 Decades inks. These inks are perfect to go with our papers because the colors are designed specifically to match. I used a Clear Scraps mini album, and then I added a couple of pocket pages of my own. This is the story of my dogs on vacation from their perspective. Hmm, I think their perspective differs a little bit from mine. The first page of my mini uses an acrylic page, and so it's clear, so you have to design the front and the back at the same time, otherwise you'll have something strange showing through from the opposite side. I've used tags and banners from the collection along with some stickers and design paper. On the right, I used an ephemera card, and I just did my journaling there. That's a picture of Chena. She always loved to sit in the driver's seat. Here you can see the front side of the ephemera card on the left, and the right page is a chipboard page, which I covered with papers from the 8x8 collection pad. I also used a couple of our chipboard pieces to write some brief journaling. I really love these pictures. These were taken while we lived in Alaska, and we used to go camping all the time. The big black dog is Brandy. She was half shepherd and half lab. So one day we were camping. It was in June, but in June it can still be a little bit chilly in Alaska, and especially the ground. Anyway, so I had gone back to the camper to get some things out. And when I came back, there was Brandy up on top of the picnic table. Why? Because the ground was cold, and heavens, she didn't want to be cold. On the right, again, I've used an ephemera card to tell Brandy's story. Yeah, I like to write a lot, so on the left, I used an, another ephemera card, and I glued the two together, punched holes in them, and just put it in my album as a page. I also used some stamps there at the bottom, the little dog with the clock, and uh, the words, a man's best friend. The page on the right is another acrylic page, so I designed the front and the back at the same time, and of course having double-sided paper really helps with that. One of the fun things about using acrylic pages is that you can allow your design from the back of your previous page to show through, as I've done here. I did some fussy cutting there, some flowers there at the bottom, and the uh, umbrella is from the sticker sheet, along with the letters, of course. And another ephemera card. They were great in this little mini album to use for all my journaling. Here you can see the front side of the ephemera card on the left. And on the right, I created a pocket page. I started out with some black cardstock, which I folded and glued so as to make a pocket. You can see the ribbon there on the right is actually attached to a tag that slips in and out. Uh, I also used the cut apart, all you need is love the dog, and I affixed that such that it made a little pocket, and you can see the little floral tag sticking out of there. I die cut some little banners and put up there at the top, along with a little chipboard piece and uh, some border cutting along the edge there to make that page. On the left, I've covered the black cardstock with a piece of our design paper. Then I die cut several frames using Spellbinders dies and layered those together. And then I used our chipboard piece there as a frame. And then I topped all of that with the umbrella, which is a creative embellishments chipboard piece that I painted black. On the right is the front of an ephemera card. And of course, I did some journaling on the back side. Now the next page was a chipboard page, and so I used papers from the 8x8 collection pad. The floral piece is actually the outside of the pad. Don't forget to use those because they work really well too. I used some letters and numbers from the sticker pad and some little chipboard pieces there. So on the left, I just used more design paper, and the right page is one that I made with a piece of black cardstock just fold it up at the bottom to create a pocket and I've slipped some tags into the pocket that I die cut with a Sizzix die. This last page in the mini is acrylic and so I let the design paper show through from the other side as a background for my photo that I framed with a creative embellishments chipboard frame. I also did some stamping using Raining Cats and Dogs stamps and Stazon ink. 
added a couple of uh, dog stamp stickers and a couple of chipboard buttons to complete the page. And here's the back cover of my mini. Yeah, I'm that crazy poodle lady, and I always include this graphic image of an evil poodle when I make dog mini albums. And I always include this little quote that says, I wonder if other dogs think poodles are members of a weird religious cult from Rita Rudner. I just find that highly amusing. And anyway, that's just my little personal touch. Thank you for viewing my mini. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to read all the stories that my dogs have told here in this mini, please visit my blog. I'll have the full text of everything there. Thanks again.